All right, we'll start with the all terrain first. I will say that it is not the easiest or fastest to unfold. <laughs> Every video I've watched made it seem so simple, but it is not. So first you have to unclip the connector and sort of shake it out like this. It usually does not just pop open, <laughs> but now that it's open, you are still not done. You have to unfold both of the back legs and unlock both of the front wheels, but you're still not done. The last step, you have to push the buttons on the handles to pull the frame up. And now it's ready to go. It is definitely not as easy to unfold as the all city stroller. So the all city stroller unfold is definitely as simple as what they show on all the videos. First, you unlock the latch and you just go like this and you're done. It's as simple and fast as that. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the wheels, starting with the all city. So you can see that this stroller has single wheels all the way around front and back. The All City also has suspension in the front wheels, which is nice and gives the stroller a little bit of a smoother ride in comparison to the All Terrain. When you look at the wheels of the All Terrain, you can see that it actually has double wheels all the way around front and back as compared to the single wheels on the All City. The All Terrain does not have front wheel suspension like the All City. However, it does have locking front wheels, which is required for its compact fold, but I guess it could also be useful for brick roads or uneven pavement to help make up for its lack of suspension. The All City has a brake that is centrally located on the back of the stroller, which locks and unlocks all the wheels, and it's very easy to do. The brake on the all-terrain is located just on the right back wheel. It's pretty easy to lock the wheels on the all-terrain just stepping down on the brake. It has a cable that runs from the one back wheel to the other, and it locks all of the wheels. However, <laughs> the brake is a little bit harder to unlock than the All City, especially if you're wearing flip-flops or sandals. The next thing to consider is the construction of these strollers. The lower construction of the All-Terrain stroller is made of plastic, whereas the lower frame of the All City is made of aluminum. So you get a little bit more durability from the All City over the All Terrain. The All Terrain has a rubber strap down here at the bottom that is used as its footrest. The All City has, I guess, this area that could be used as a footrest, but it also has this feature, which I really like. It has a footrest that can go up or down very easily. So all you have to do is pinch the sides and it makes it go either up or down. The upper part of the all-terrain is made of aluminum and the same with the all-city. However, they are a little different in the construction. You can see that the all-terrain has these two skinny bars on both sides, and you can kind of see how flimsy, no, we'll say flexible, it is. But I promise it's not that flexible when you're pushing it with a child inside. It still does move around quite a lot, but again, what it lacks in its sturdiness, it makes up for in its compact fold. Whereas with the All City, you can see it's not as flexible or it doesn't move around as much as the All Terrain. And that's mostly because of how it, it's constructed. You can see it just has one aluminum bar on each side and those bars connect it to the frame, which 
seem to make it much sturdier than the all-terrain. All right, so with storage, there's not really much to stay here. It is obvious, though, that the all-terrain stroller has a much smaller basket than what's on the all-city. You can easily access the storage space on the all-terrain from the front or back. However, it is much smaller than the storage space that you get on the all-city. You can also access the bigger storage area on the all-city stroller from the front and back and even the sides. So here's a side view of the canopies. You can see that the canopy of the all-terrain is much smaller than the canopy of the all-city stroller. Both canopies have an SPF of 50 plus to protect against the sun. <laughs> However, neither of these canopies are really going to give your child much shade <laughs> and protect against the sun. Um, I actually purchased an additional shade that folds up really small for traveling to, that you can add easily to the stroller. I bought it for when we went to Mexico and brought the all city stroller with us. I'll put a link to that canopy I bought below. There are a few key differences in how the canopies are constructed on these strollers. The all-terrain has a plastic band in the front and a sort of a flexible wire strap in the center of the canopy. The biggest thing to note here for the all-terrain is that the canopy is not connected in the back at all. There is a little strap here that connects the canopy to the stroller and you can see that the canopy is open on both sides. So, you know, if the sun is shining on both sides and your little one is trying to take a nap, the sun is definitely going to be coming in from all directions, including the front. Now, if we look at the canopy on the All City stroller, you can see it has a metal bar in the front. And it's also connected with that same metal bar in the back. It has the flexible wire in the center like the all-terrain. However, the biggest difference for the canopy on the all-city is that it is fully connected on all sides, even the back. So even if the stroller is in its fully reclined position, the canopy is completely connected. There's no sun, rain, wind getting in from the sides or the back of the stroller because of how the canopy is connected. Both of these strollers have the ability to recline. They have the same little mechanism here on the back for reclining the seat into an infinite number of recline positions. However, with the All City stroller, all you have to do is push the buttons in and the seat reclines pretty easily, and that is your only option. It's not a lay flat recline, but it does go down far enough. So, with the All Terrain, like I said, you have a couple options when it comes to the recline. You can recline it all the way like this, which is option one, but if you want even more of a recline, you can unzip the top like this for option two. And this will give you even more of a recline for the all-terrain stroller as compared to the all-city stroller. It's still not a lay flat option, but it reclines just a little bit more. All right, so the unfolded dimensions of these two strollers appear to be pretty much the same when you look at them. They're both very narrow, very compact, but the All City looks to be about an inch wider and an inch higher than the All Terrain stroller. But what people buy these strollers for is not their unfolded dimensions, but for how compact they are when they're folded down all the way. All right, so I'm going to start with the All Terrain first. I will say that it is not the easiest or fastest stroller to fold. And it's definitely more difficult than folding the All City. And all the videos I've seen 
make it look so simple, but it's really not that simple in my opinion. All right, so before you can even fold the all-terrain stroller down to its most compact size, there are a couple of things. You're, there's two things you need to do first. First, you need to lock both of the front wheels. So this stroller can be folded in two different ways. It's most compact fold, which I'm in the process of showing you now, or what I call an everyday fold where you don't need to fold up the back legs. So for step two, <laughs> you need to fold in both back legs. You've got to push down on this little white button here and then really make sure you hear them click and lock in place before you try to even fold the stroller. These back wheels easily come undone. It's a little tricky, as you can see. <laughs> I have both hands, my legs, everything is kind of helping me fold the stroller. It would be very hard to fold this stroller if you were also trying to hold a baby. All right, so now that I've locked my front wheels in place, and I've hopefully locked both of my back wheels in place. To start to fold your stroller down, you're going to want to push in both of these buttons, white buttons on each of the handlebars. And you'll need to put some weight into pushing it down. I also help it stay in place with my leg and my foot. <laughs> push it all the way down. Now that we have it down, we need to fold it together and buckle this little clip. So I folded the stroller a lot and it is still not that easy to push together. So I'm not sure how many times that you would need to fold the stroller to get it to be so easy, as easy as they show you on the videos. <sighs> okay, so I'm trying to fold it so that I can get it to latch together. <laughs> Okay, finally, I got it. Okay, you can see that this latch here keeps it folded together. <sighs> so that was pretty hard. But the compact nature of this fold is definitely the biggest feature of this stroller. It's also pretty lightweight. It feels maybe one or two pounds lighter than that of the All City. It's also supposed to have a standing fold, well, sort of a standing fold, <laughs> which it really doesn't stand up that well as compared to the All City when it's folded. And it's definitely failing the test on the carpet. So now let's fold down the All City stroller. This fold is definitely as easy as they show in all of the videos. There is no setup required. You can just fold it as it is. So same thing here. There are these two buttons on the handlebars. You just press them in and push it down. Fold it together. And I don't know why, but this stroller latches so much easier than the all-terrain does. And that is it. <laughs> it's just as easy as they show in the videos. The All City Stroller also has a standing fold that usually does a little bit better <laughs> than the All Terrain. But the downside to this stroller being a simpler fold is that the All City does not fold as compact as the All Terrain Stroller does. So you really can't go wrong with either of these strollers. But if you're looking for a stroller that is much more compact, that weighs less with a bigger recline, then I would go with the all-terrain. However, my choice is the all-city over the all-terrain, just because it's still compact enough to carry on to an airplane, and it's also much more functional with the adjustable leg rest, the fully enclosed canopy, the larger basket for storage, sturdier frame, and it's just so much easier to fold and unfold. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.